good morning students welcome to the seventh part of coordinate geometry till now up to sixth part we have discussed the distance formula to calculate the distance between any two points on the coordinate plane and we applied this distance formula to triangles and quadrilaterals now in this session i'll introduce to a formula which is very important in this coordinate geometry which we call it as section formula and in the next part we will derive it, the formula so let us take a case where he is mr kiran and he is coming back to his home after work now he has two children namely ravi and rani and these two children are very eagerly waiting for his, for the father to arrive because he has promised that he would bring a nice chocolate to them while coming back home so he brought a wonderful chocolate and now the task is they have to divide this chocolate between those the two so now what happened is they broke the chocolate actually the chocolate had five parts so if they broke it into two parts in one portion and three parts three pieces of chocolate in the other portion now what they did is rani was given two pieces that is number of pieces rani got is two and ravi was ravi took three pieces now we say that the ratio of the number of pieces of rani to ravi is 2 is to 3 we know this we have already learned so many things about ratios in our lower classes then what happened the other day their father brought one more chocolate after 2 3 days then this chocolate was divided into portions like this now one portion has three pieces and the other portion has how many pieces now four pieces as we have seen in the previous case rani took just a piece less than his brother her brother now what happened is now she gave three pieces to ravi and she herself took four pieces so ravi got now in this case three pieces and rani got four pieces now what is the ratio of ravi to rani this is 3 is to 4 so when you have a thing or an object or whatever you have when you divide that thing into parts then we can express them in as a fraction or a ratio now this ratio concept is very important for us that's why i'm revising this concept here now let us come back to this coordinate geometry case now here we have a school where physical education teacher named govind is present now he is try he is take he took them to the ground for practice session now four students actually participated in this session and he made them draw a line ab and he made them stand at different positions you can read the names of the four students what are the names of the students yeah they are charan mary akbar and lakshmi so these are the four students and you can observe they were they were made to stand at different positions and each position is denoted by a point on the line now we'll take each case individually now for example take the case of charan now charan is standing at a point which is in colored in blue now we have to count the number of units to his left side and to his right side now to his right side there are actually two units and to his left side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 11 and 12 now we'll take the ratio of the units to his right side and to his left side then what is the ratio here exactly this is charan divides the line segment ab in the ratio 2 is to 12 as we know we have to express the ratio in simplest form so we can cancel two table here two ones and two six so it is one is two six now let us take the case of the second child what is her name now we have the case of mary now mary is standing at a dot which is colored in yellow lemon yellow now now we have to count the number of units to her right side and to her left side now what is the number of units on her right side 1 2 3 4 5 6 now to her left side if you count them just count these number of units they are actually 8 now Mary divides the line segment AB in the ratio 6 is to 8. Now actually we can cancel two table once again, so this is 3 is to 4. Let us take the third case. What is the name of the boy? Yeah, he is Akbar. Now he has a sky blue colored dot. Now he stood there. Now we have to count the number of units to his right and to his 
left. What is the number of units to his right side? Let us count them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. What is the number of units on to his left side? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So what is the ratio now? It is 9 is to 5. Very good. So it is 9 is to 5. As uh, 9 and 5 do not have a common factor, we have to leave it as it is. So the ratio of Akbar is 9 is to 5. You observe. The ratio is changing from one person to other person, one child to other child. Now we are left with one more child. What is her name? Yeah, she is actually Lakshmi. Now let us count the number of units. Just pause here for two, three seconds. Then you count the units to her right side and units to her right side, left side. Then we have to take the ratio. Now it is actually 11 is to 3. Each child is dividing the line segment AB in different ratio because their positions are different. Now I know you are wondering why we are discussing these things. Actually section formula deals with these ratios only. As you know your school has different sections. Section A, Section B. So section basically means part. So now when you have a line segment and you divide that into different parts or different portions or different sections. Now this formula involves the different parts into which the line segment is divided. So now let us write all the ratios there. 1 is to 6, 3 is to 4, 9 is to 5 and 11 is to 3. The ratios are different because the positions of the child are standing, children are standing is different. Now let us take the case of a line segment AB. The coordinates of A are x1, y1 and B are x2, y2. Now we have a point here. Now this line, this point divides the line segment in the ratio m1 is to m2. Just we have taken the case uh, 1 is to 6 or 9 is to 5 or 11 is to 3. The case is m1 is to m2. So you have a point. This point divides the line segment in the ratio m1 is to m2. Just, we, just like uh, the children divided the line segment to different ratios, this is the same. Now we have to find the coordinates of this point P which divides the line segment in the ratio m1 is to m2. What is the address of this point given ratio, right? Now, we'll move on to geometry a little because the knowledge of geometry is very much essential to derive this formula. Now, you just pause this video for some time, a few seconds, just to observe this. Here, actually, there are some closed figures are drawn. Now, there, in among these closed figures, there are some figures which look like, look similar. Uh, they are looking exactly the same, but their sizes are different. You, you try to identify them, right? Now here we can see 1 and 7 are similar. Then 2 and 6, their shapes are the same. Of course, their sizes are different. Then 3 and 5. Then again, we have 4 and 8. These pairs of figures, actually, they have different sizes, but they shapes are the same. These two are circles and these two are actually squares and these two are like a sign board we show. They are showing the direction and these two are triangles. They have the same shape. Of course, they have different size. Such kind of shapes are called similar figures. In our ninth class, we have discussed congruent figures. Figures with the same size and same shape are said to be congruent figures. But objects with same shape, they need not be of the same size, they, they can be of the different size. Such figures are called similar figures. Now in particular, we have to discuss the similarity of triangles. Now we have, I have drawn here different types of triangles. Now among all these triangles, although they are all triangles, none of them are similar. They are having different shapes. So there is a criteria to find which closed figures are similar and which are not similar. In particular to the case of triangles, we have a criteria to find whether the two triangles are similar or not. There are some criteria and among these criteria, we need one important criteria which we call it as angle-angle criteria for similarity. Just we have discussed criteria for congruence of triangles. This is a similarity criteria. Of course, we have a full Chapter named similar triangles, you will discuss them later. Now, two triangles are said to be similar if 
two angles of one triangle are equal to two angles of the other triangle. So you know that one triangle has angles 80 degrees and 70 degrees. If another triangle is there, whose angles are also 80 degrees and 70 degrees, you don't worry about that. Just you can simply say that the two shapes are exactly the same. The sizes may be different. So this is the criteria, angle angle criteria to tell. Whenever you have to tell two triangles are similar, you just take, you measure the angles. If two angles of one triangle are equal to the two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. We are going to this, use this rule. That's why this is very, very important. Now I'll take a case here. When you have two triangles which are similar, then what happens is their corresponding sides will be in the same ratio. We already know corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Now here I'll take two triangles and let us discuss the corresponding parts here. What is the corresponding side of AB here? Now corresponding to AB we have PQ and corresponding to BC we have QR. And what is the corresponding side of CA? Exactly, it is RP. So if two triangles ABC and PQ are similar, their corresponding sides are in the same ratio. That means AB by PQ, BC by QR, CA divided by RP, the th three ratios will be equal. That is the most important concept that you have to keep in your mind. When two triangles are similar, their corresponding sides will be in the same ratio. I will explain this using two different triangles which are similar. Suppose triangle XYZ and triangle LMN are similar. What is the side that is similar to XY? Exactly, LM. What is the similar side of YZ? It is MN. Then what is the side similar to ZX? NL. So when you write the ratio of these similar sides, the ratio should be equal if these two triangles are similar. That is the concept that you have to understand. So XY divided by LM, YZ divided by MN and ZX divided by LN are equal. You have to take the ratio of corresponding sides only. XY by MN you cannot take because corresponding side of XY is LM only. So the concept of ratio of similar triangle sides is very very important. If two triangles are similar, their corresponding angles are equal. And also the concept that we are looking for here is the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. Now here I will be giving an assignment. There are two problems here and each problem has two triangles and the two triangles are similar. Here CDE triangle and triangle XYZ are similar. Now you have to write which ratios are equal for corresponding sides. Here we have triangle PQR and triangle JKL. Now you have to write the ratio of the corresponding sides. You have to write the ratio of the corresponding sides only because they, those, those ratios are only equal. This is very important for us to derive the formula. So if you write the ratio of the corresponding sides and post it to me, this concept of ratio of corresponding sides is very very important for us to derive the section formula which we will discuss in the next part. Thank you.